Dr. Colleen Fogarty, the department chair for the University of Rochester Department of Family Medicine is back with us. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Well, we see on the graphic I've built here, battling COVID-19 fatigue. Look, we've been at this since March, as we all know. I guess it's, a, it's only a matter of time that we came up with a term for it. We're all on some level struggling with the fact that we're still dealing with the pandemic at this point, doctor. Yes, that's right. Seven months um, feels long in our, in our personal experience. It's short in the course of human history, but it's pretty exhausting um, with the, the isolation and uh, all the other guidelines that we have. It's very hard for folks. The reality of it is, even as we address COVID fatigue, we're seeing evidence even in Monroe County, an uptick in cases uh, over a three day period on the weekend, some 200 new cases in Monroe County. It's evidence that even as that even as we're kind of feeling tired of all of these restrictions in our lives, the evidence is indicating we need to be more vigilant now than ever, right? Absolutely. And in fact, uh, Monroe County and New York State in general did such a marvelous job in the spring uh, flattening the curve, flattening that epidemiological curve from logarithmic with such a high rate of rise to much more flat and reducing the uh, transmission of COVID. We, are, we continue to be in that space where we have to follow what are called non-pharmaceutical interventions or things every person makes the choice to do. So wearing a good mask that covers our nose and mouth and secures around the head, social or physical distancing, six feet apart from other people. Those are the key interventions. And then obviously, as always, good hand washing. Mm -hmm. And for those who are feeling this COVID fatigue, what is your message for those folks? Really for all of us. My message for, for all of us, um, whatever our level of fatigue is, keep up the work. The work is for, our, for each of us as individuals and for us as a community and for our healthcare system. Mm -hmm. If we, if cases are on the rise, more people will be hospitalized, more people will be needing intensive care unit level of care. And that can overwhelm the healthcare system. We do not want to get into a situation where people are not able to access the healthcare that they need and deserve. So all of us are responsible to each other for masking up physical distancing and good, good hand washing. All right, doctor, thank you. We'll leave it there. Uh, we know COVID fatigue is real. On some level, we're all dealing with it these days, but as you said, we must remain vigilant with these non-pharmaceutical interventions. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, have a great day. You too. If you missed any of our conversation and these important reminders, head to rochesterfirst.com.